there, it's Julia Slyke from Team Charm Lifers, and I'm here to give you a great tip that I saw in action. Um, one of my friends did at a vendor event, so I know at that time of year we have got lots of events coming up and you're trying to get a fun, creative way to actually secure bookings when you go to those events. So this is called the Dice Game. You uh, might have heard of it before. And it's typically played at the social or party and you, it's more like a game of chance and it kind of just gives me that icky feeling. I did it, I did play it one time and I actually never played it again, but I saw my friend do it in action at a vendor event and just the way she did it, it took away that ick factor for me. So I, I think I'm going to try it now and I wanted to show you what it was because she got 20 potential bookings. Now she didn't have her calendar out, but though but she did have 20 people that said they wanted to have a party with her. So this is this is all she did. She had a really simple, simple setup. So you know I'm all about keep. Keep it super simple. So she had a uh, eye-catching simple display and then half her display was actually um, this game with the prize, um, the grand prize on display and a bag to prizes which she had dollar store items in and um, the cards so here are the cards um, and I did this super like I said I'm all about easy peasy simple so I just wrote out cards on colored cardstock with numbers on them and certain um, numbers do correspond with certain dice so there is like a, a, a rule, a rhyme to the rule of the way we do this. And I found these dice at the dollar store. I know you can buy like on Amazon, like little light up dice that can be fun too. Um, so the gist is someone approaches your booth and you just say to them, hey, would you like to roll the dice for us? See what number you get? And the lady was like, okay, but do I have to? And she, my friend's like, no, you don't have to do anything. She's like, well, what happens if I, if I roll the dice? She's like, nothing. You just roll and see what number you get. So the lady's like, okay. So you roll the dice. Let's see. I got a oh, four. So then I would go, oh, you rolled number four. So let's see what four says. Oh, you won a free charm. Congratulations. So this was like a, a win. She won. So she wins a free charm, which she can get. But she's probably going to want a bracelet to go with it. So um, you could have a little gift of these ready just to, that they could take with her or gather her information and just say you'll follow up with her. There are three different options. Um, number two is actually the grand prize because it's hardest to get snake eyes. So I just wrote on here, um, grand prize, $25 gift certificate. Number seven is you won a free single leather keeper. And then I put down there with a $300 party. So this is what would happen if she rolled a seven or anything that says you won a, a keeper. Basically, that's um, the prize. So in the traditional dice game, it would be like the you won a party card. Um, but I like the congratulations, you actually won something. So if they rolled a seven, you would be like, oh, you're number seven. Oh, congratulations, you won a free keeper. Now, to redeem your keeper, all you need to do is get a couple friends together and have your own little girls night and we can take a peek at keep. Does that sound like fun? You want to do that? And they're like, sure. Okay, great. So just... Fill out your contact info on the card here, and then I can follow up with you um, the next two days, and we can um, look at our calendars together. How does that sound? Great. And then, bang, you have a potential booking right there. So you're not getting leads of people that just want free product and are filling out any kind of raffle form that they have, and then you follow up with them, and they don't remember who you are, or they don't actually want your prize, um, or to have a social with you. So... Easy peasy. It is cards number 2 through 12. They correspond to the roll of the dice. And I'll just go over them. So 2 is the grand prize. 3 is um, 
you won a seven dollar um, charm and that would be like the pick a prize so you could have like a dollar store or things from the dollar bin at Michael's and like a little prize pot but I like to do things that relate to my business when I give prizes so that's why I chose the seven dollar charm because it adds to my um, sales and you know my product and I'm not just giving them like a dollar store thing um, number four same thing you want a charm five you want a charm ah uh, six is ding 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 you want a keeper seven we said is you want a keeper eight is you want a keeper nine is you want a keeper Ten is you want a keeper. Eleven is you want a keeper. And twelve is you want a free charm. So you can do whatever feels comfortable for you and your business. I chose to do a $25 gift certificate for the grand prize. Uh, if you're feeling really generous, you could do a keeper or a pendant or whatever you feel would be a good um, grand prize. To make people um, want to pay. Uh, your free gift, which can be anything that you decide. I thought a $7 charm was um, what felt comfortable to me. And then you have your um, prize, which is actually the social, and what you're going to give them for that. But if I'm giving them a $29 keeper to thank them for getting their friends together, plus their hostess rewards. I think that's a pretty sweet deal. I would do it. So that's how I'm going to do my um, booth at vendor events from now. So I'm just getting people to roll the dice. And if they want to redeem the prize, they do. And then I get their contact information. And then I can follow up with someone that I know is actually interested in the product. So I would love to hear how it works for you. And remember when you're at those kind of events, you don't want to focus on sales. You want to focus on starting to build those relationships because we are a relationship business and that is what's going to keep your business sustainable for now and years to come so that this is a profitable business um, it's a great business model and getting out there and meeting people at vendor events is a great place to start those relationships peace